You're probably confused at how Mary Ward CSS works. Well, this video is going to answer your questions as well as give you an insight of how a Mary Ward student spends their day and the self-directed system that separates Mary Ward from your traditional high school. What's different about it, you ask? I think one of our teachers can answer that question. Self-directed learning is a unique learning experience for students that we offer here at Mary Ward Catholic Secondary School. It allows students to take ownership in their learning and it allows them to be very involved in the choices that they make in their learning experience. It's really a partnership between students and teachers in terms of how they meet the curricular expectations laid out to them. Students have a wide range of choices within learn unit guides, how they approach their learning, they, um, they can do projects, they can do group work, they can do individualized work in certain circumstances. Students also have a choice in terms of how they pace themselves. They, if a student is, is anxious to complete a course early and start, for example, grade 9 math, they want to finish early and then begin grade 10 math before the end of their grade 9 year, they have the opportunity to do that. If a student is a little more um, involved in the learning and wants to take extra time to complete something, they also have the flexibility to do that within the self-directed learning program. Now we will show you the life of a Mary Ward student. It is now 8.38 a.m. and Debbie is making her way into morning TA. Morning TA. Well, we all gather and we start with O Canada and our prayers. And then we gather around and we hand out our marks and check out the announcements and the students start to schedule their day. They um, check their marks and put them down in their agenda book. They might ask, you know, what is some advice that they can follow for the day. Once they fill out their agenda books and check their emails and enter their marks, they schedule out their time. The teacher advisor checks it, signs off and says, okay, great, great day. The role of the teacher advisor at Mary Ward is really interesting and unique. Um, we are not only teachers, we're mentors, we're advisors, we're friends, we're advocates. Um, it's, it's really a unique role because we get to be so many things for our, our students. Well, the importance of the TA then is to make sure that we can guide and advocate for the students, we can be there for them, that they always have one adult in their life that they can turn to no matter what in this school, and they'll always be there for them. It is now period one, and Debbie's TA has scheduled a TA interview with her. <laughs> TA interviews are really unique and important here. During a TA interview, it's the opportunity for the teacher advisor and the advisee to sit down and look at the progress they've made over two weeks. Uh, during that time and during the interview, we talk about what they've managed to achieve, um, what they're doing at the time, how their assignments are coming along, maybe find out some of the work that they're working on and, and so that we can really be a part of what they're doing. Um, we also look at maybe planning some short-term goals, long-term goals, even sitting and discussing what's happening in their life just to give them someone to vent or to talk to uh, during that time. At the end of the interview we sort of wrap things up, have the opportunity to set goals for the next two weeks before we meet again and then it gets emailed off to the parents so that they're informed as to what's happening as well. The parents are going to know about the progress that they're making or lack thereof. Um, the parents can also see the goals that the, their, their child has set so that they can maybe help them stay on track as well by making sure that they're doing homework at home, uh, making sure that they're handing in their assignments. The, the TA interview really allows the parents to be involved in the education system as well. Debbie realizes she has 45 minutes left and heads over to English for a seminar. That's the flexible advantage of Mary Ward's self-directed system. You're able to choose to move between classes. Seminars are more formal type classes, like in a regular classroom setting, where it's um, a teacher-led discussion and lesson. Uh, for example, in science, there might be certain concepts that I want the students right in front of me to teach. Uh, so we'll have a seminar uh, scheduled for them. Seminars are also, um, the way the students find out about seminars is through a seminar schedule that they get every morning. So there'll be certain subject areas where they'll tell them um, exactly what's scheduled for that, I guess, that two-week period or week period. 
um, and also teachers can also send messages through TA Mail to uh, tell students that there are certain seminars scheduled uh, in the day. During specific periods, students are given opportunities to consult with their teachers. With 45 minutes left to spare during period 2, Debbie decides to spend the rest of the period and period 3 to edit her video in Calm. Don't forget that the last 20 minutes of period 3 and all of period 5 is no movement. Attention staff and students, we are now in a no movement period. All students are asked to remain in their resource areas and out of the hallways until the lunch bell rings. Once again, we are now in a no movement period. Students are required to check in with their TAs three times a day, during morning TA, at lunch, and after school before they go home. For period 4, Debbie is going to finish a math unit and study for her test. We do have self-directed learning guides where students are able to work at their own pace. Uh, it's, it's individually paced, but they also get to decide when they want to spend more time on a specific subject when they want to focus less on a subject. Most resource areas have an instructional assistant at a counter where students can submit and receive their units as well as materials they require for their educational needs. In order for students to keep track of their submitted units, students are encouraged to get signatures for each unit they submit. Debbie is now ready to head over to the test center to write her test. Once students are authorized to write their test by their subject teacher, they are given six days to write the test. Once a student is ready for a test or if they've completed a certain assignment, they'll get a test authorization in their mail. Uh, once they get it in their mail, they take down their test authorization number, bring it to our test center, uh, which is a nice quiet area for them to write their test, and they'll get their tests there. The last time students can sign into the test center to write tests is at 2.15 p.m. Students are not allowed to bring their bags into the test center. They can only bring the materials required to write their test. Typically, students are given a two-hour time limit to write their tests. Debbie decides to spend the last period of the day in religion to complete her unit. After completing her unit, she's given the answer key to mark her unit. I've, I've now experienced both sides of the, of the spectrum, so as a student and a teacher. And as a student, I believe it, it, um, the, the system itself allowed me to be more um, independent. So I've, I've matured over the years at Mary Ward. Uh, as well as later, but uh, it allowed me to to really take ownership of my education. It really allowed me to take my interests into consideration when, when completing my studies, but it also allowed me to become um, a self-advocate. So because at Mary Ward, you have to not only communicate with your peers and your classmates, but you also have to be uh, pretty pretty on top of um, teachers. You have to communicate with your teachers quite a bit in order to, to complete your course and stay on track. By the time they graduate, they are extremely um, <clears throat> organized individuals. They're able to make decisions on their own. They're able to have confidence to approach adults and interact with uh, their teachers and adults in a way that is collaborative versus in a traditional school, there may be more of a barrier between teacher and student. Students um, generally have developed really good time management skills, 
and are able to advocate for themselves in a way that often students aren't in a traditional school. The day is now done, and with that, another productive day ends. We hope that this video helped you learn how the system works at Mary Ward and answered any questions that you may have.